Hello again. We are here with Denny Faust. Denny, introduce yourself. I'm Denny Faust. I'm president of the Studebaker Drivers Club Worldwide. I uh, assumed the position about a year and a half ago and I've just been re-elected to another two-year stint. Congratulations. Thank you. Or Thank maybe you. not. <laughs> oh, for now. It's, it's fine. Okay. Okay. It's fine. The, uh, the judging that's going on in this building today, we're using electronic judging. The uh, Studebaker Drivers Club, believe it or not, is the only single mark club in the world that's using this software. Really? And doing electronic judging. The only, the only club in the, in the U.S. I didn't know that. Yep, yep, yep. I worked with a, a company in the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania area and uh, took a package that they were using for judging tuner cars and, and other vehicles and we customized it to work with the Studebaker uh, judging sheet. So it's kind of a duplicate of the uh, judging sheet, but it works extremely well. So, so the thing that I take away from that is Studebaker was always considered ahead of its time, and here we are carrying that. Uh, I hope so. Yeah. I hope yeah. so. You know, and I've always liked to introduce the technology where we can. Mm -hmm. You know, and even though it's a 60-year-old car, you know, we can still do nifty things to it. Yeah. I was just interviewing Tom and kind of getting the background of coming through as a, as a competitor. Yep. You were a judge, right? Uh, I, in years, past years, actually, no, I wasn't really a judge. I developed the software, but I don't use it. It's, okay. it's up to other people that have a lot more knowledge than me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've seen you down here on the, the floor keeping an eye on stuff. I've been basically keeping an eye on the cars coming in and kind of, it's like herding cats, if yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. I do. It's like herding <laughs> cats and make sure they get in the proper rows to get in. but. I don't dabble in the judging at all. Okay, I, I don't blame you. Yeah. Um, do you have a wild idea how many cars have come through judging? Uh, we had a total of about 110 to 120 cars registered okay. to be judged. Yesterday, I think we had between 35 and 40 that were judged. Uh, some didn't show up for, uh, for judging. Today, I think we have about another 50, 55 cars registered to be judged. They're putting them through in pretty good time. They are doing a great job in yep. the facility. It's you beautiful. You couldn't ask for better. This it's is beautiful. Awesome. It's cool in here. It's well lit. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Just, just shine underneath the hair. Yeah, they, they do. So yeah, they do. They look yeah, they do. So the colors really come out. Yeah. Yep. Anything else you want to tell us about the SDC? Been a member of SDC since 1967. Oh my. 50, uh, 12, 54 years. I, I joined the club. My wife and I were 20 years old. She was just almost 19. We joined back in 67 and I was 20 years old. I've been a member ever since. And really never dabbled in the politics and all that, but I was asked to step forward and uh, complete a, uh, a term of uh, our previous president. And that was, um, I guess, a year and a half ago. And since then they re-elected me, so off I go again. But and I'm sure you're here with a Studebaker. Uh, actually, Baker? actually not. I come out in a, an off-brand bringing Studebaker parts for sale. Okay, well that, yep. that's allowed. Yep. I have brand new 52 grill. If somebody's interested in that, I've got a brand new 55 Studebaker grill. Wow. That's for sale also. Okay. But, but uh, last year I have a 1939 Coupe Express, which if you're a Studebaker club member, you know what that is. My that was got really great that was that was the first uh, meet that vehicle had ever been to, and it was just completed literally weeks before weeks before the meet. No, this year too much to do. Couldn't get the car ready, and it's just my wife Cindy and I. So what brought you into Studebaker? My dad always had Studebaker trucks. My dad was in an appliance business, uh, buying and selling new appliances and fixing appliances, and. Uh, his service trucks were always Studebakers. His cars were always Studebakers, and it was just a natural progression, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You grew up with them. I grew up with them. That is exactly right. I grew up with them. So it was it was kind of a natural thing to happen. Oh, very cool. I'll tell you what, Dennis, I know you've got other things to do. I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>